On your files here, back again with another Torch Night Interview tutorial. This series is about skill making. First part, particle effects. In this tutorial, we're going to work with some particle effects, get them ready for our skill, and further steps that, involve, that are involved when making the skill. But first, let's break down some prerequisites. The prerequisites is you got to understand the interface a little bit. You gotta have a general how to create a class, which is the previous video, right there in the middle of the screen. And you gotta understand some terminology that I might use in the tutorial. So a good place to find this information would be the Torchlight Editor Wiki article on Rune Games fan site and the Rune Games Logic Group scripting tutorials on YouTube. They're titled Predator Scripting Tutorials. That was the name before Torched, before legal issues happened, and they had to change it and use someone's fan created name. <laughs> so then, you also, there's also some nice material on Ring and Fan site, a property list, property list that lists all the properties, the nodes, and some fields in the editor. Written by the staff at Rune Games Fan Site. And then there's also a nice resource by Fanjam. Is it Panjam? Uh, Fanjam. PH. Fanjam. Who lists all the directories and gives the basic description of most of the directories so far. So, let's just start it. What do we need when you're creating a skill? The first thing you need is an idea. So, in the guide I wrote, I was going to make a slow moving projectile that pierces targets, has an area effect, does low amount of damage, and slows targets down. So, what would we need to create that skill? Obviously, we're going to need some particle effects, <laughs> which we're going to work on in this tutorial. Then after we get the particles done, we have to create the projectile, which is called a missile, in the editor. Then after we create the missile, we have to create a layout to spawn the missile. Then after we create the layout, we have to create some effects for the projectile. Then after we create that, we have to yeah, sorry about that. We have to write down the skill the skill information, descriptions, data, the events, when it's gonna happen, where it's gonna happen, things like that. And then we have to implement it into the class. So that is the basic breakdown of what we're going to do over the next few videos. So, without further ado, we're going to create the particles. Okay, first part. So we're going to hack up a few particle effects which we'll use to create the projectile for the skill we want to make. So, for the projectile we want, we need four particles. One which is the proje projectile itself, the active particle one when it dies, the die particle, one when it hits something, the hit particle, and then one when it's fired, which is the release particle or a warm-up particle. So we need four particles in total to create one skill. Creating a particle itself is, is can be a long guide too, so we're just gonna we're just gonna clone one and change a few settings. So the best particle we can use for this guide would be the fireball since it has everything we need and everything's there already so all we gotta do is change the color change a few few sizes, scales change how it moves and all that stuff but we're just gonna change the color so let's begin so we're gonna work with the active particle first so open so in the torch directory, go to media, 
particles, spells, and then fireball. We're going to use this one. Fireball that I lay out is the active particle. So open it. So let's see how this particle looks. Press play up here. As you see, the normal fireball, which Runic made. So we're going to make it blue. So let's stop it. So in order to make it blue, we are going to have to change all these color effectors right here so that they emit blue a blue tint instead of orange tint so the first one so over here the properties color over time click on the three dots right here it will bring up the color over time dialog these are the three points where the color changes over time so this is essentially one zero to one which is more like a percentage of time so this one starts at the exact zero percent of the uh, out of duration of the particle so let's change this so that it looks more blue Let's use this blue right here, and this blue, and then this blue again. Click OK. Can you see that one? So let's change this one right here. Let's wait, wait, wait. select the point first. It's kind of like orange, orangish yellow. Uh, this one. Okay. And let's change this one right here. So the first color is kind of. Eh, don't know what color that is. It looks like this blue right here. Or this one actually. Yeah, let's use that one. Oops. It's reversed. And then this one. Okay. Next color. This one looks like a deep, dark, darkish orange. So, dark blue. <coughs> Excuse me. And then this one, same color as that one. Okay. Oops. It's hard to remember the colors. <laughs> there you go. So click OK. Move on to the next color. Color two. Do the exact same thing. It's kind of a dark orangish red. So I'd say this kind of like a this type of blue. So it's probably this type of blue. So okay. Next one, the black background. It's white, but it's not really white. We change it to something kind of bluish, a uh, pair of blue. See, kind of greenish blue right there. So we gotta change it to kind of a darker blue, like this one right here. Uh, it's green. So we have to make it blue, which makes it kind of it kind of looks good actually. <laughs> so next one, let's change this. This is poopy brown to purple, and then that's it. This is the fireball. So we're done with the active particle right now. So if you want to break down of the color over time window, go over to the uh, guide I wrote.
and it'll break it down, have a few values that I used in that guide. So now we're going to save. Make sure you save as. So it won't save over the default one. <coughs> Excuse me. So in order to save it, we are going to go to the mod folder. You get access to the mod folder through the torch folder. Now, which one did I use? Ah, oh, yes, the Ember Freak. So, in the Ember Freak, in the mod that you created from the previous tutorial, go into the media folder, add a new folder called Particles, open that folder, and in Player Skills, so you gotta create Player Skills. Make sure it's case sensitive. Capital P, capital S. Then we create a skill name. One with a skill name. So, like the tutorial, I call it Blue Ball. So, let's call it Blue Ball. So we name inside that folder, name the layout blue ball dot layout, and save it. And there you go. The first particle is done. We're gonna move on to the die particle next. So, <coughs> excuse me. So let's open it. Back inside the torch folder, go to media, articles, spells, fireball, die. So open that. Has a sound effect. That's how it looks when it basically dies. So this is the ground. Goes from orange to red. So let's change this one. Change this color to. So it starts off black. Goes kind of goldish color. So to make it kind of blue, what type of blue would be kind of gold? I'd say this one right here. Then it turns to bright yellow, which I would try bright blue then kind of reddish pinkish orange so yeah, this one right here maybe no this one let's just use that one okay let's see yeah, looks looks like it's exploding yeah, that's good enough so let's move on to the smoke ring which is this crescent shape with a circle in the center so let's start and change it so let's move on to the third one first make this one bright blue this one kind of brownish orange so kind of this one right here dark blue okay let's play it by itself so it's kind of white so let's go back to it and change this white here into something kind of blue kind of bluish white there you go so let's play it by itself nah. kind of notice it too much so let's make it dark blue instead just blend in okay there we go Play it as a whole. There you go. Explodes. So we're done with this one. <laughs> Save as in the exact same folder as the one in the, as the skill that we just as the one we made at first. So back into the particle folder, player skills and blue ball. They put die. That they out. Click OK and it's saved. Next, we are going to work on the hit particle. 
So, open. Again, <coughs> same location. Torched. Media. Particles. Spell. Fireball. And impact. Open it. And there you go. It's explosive look to it. So let's so expand these so we see the color. So let's just change the color. This is a repetitive process, you know. <laughs> Purple-ish kind of, yeah, the bright-ish one, pinkish one. Dude, black. Okay. This one. It's the same as the last one, so same as the pre the dying one, so okay, 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 and this one again. To darker blue. To a poopy blue. <laughs> to. I know, we're just rushing to do this. We don't need to worry too much about it. It's mainly about the process of making it so. Don't need to worry too much about this stuff. Dark poopy, so this one. And yeah, let's see each one is usual one. Kinda greenish, but that fits. Yeah, hit that. Yeah. Explodes. Good. Smoke ring. Yeah, it looks good. Oops. There you go. The plan as a whole. Let's make this one right here a little darker. So let's pick this blue. There you go. Okay. Now we have the impact. So save as. And this is a very repetitive process, but it has to be done. <laughs> Impact that layout and save. <coughs> Excuse me again. <coughs> no, what's wrong with me today? <laughs> Okay, so let's move on to the last one, the release or warm up. So we're gonna work with a warm up on this one. So in the media folder, again, particles, spells, fireball, warm up, open, and see, it's gathering energy. As you see in the game, it looks exactly like that. In fact, I don't think we need this one, so I'm going to delete this particle here. It looks actually nice without it. Kind of gathering energy. There's the orange one, there's another one, and then there's the third one. So let's change the colors to kind of more bluish. Don't really need to, but let's just do it. <laughs> Do and dark blue, dark deep blue, kind of purplish dark blue, and then the purple. <laughs> Can we see it? Let 
There's actually a few settings in here that you probably got to modify in order to make it more visible, so... Man, let's not worry about that. Let's just make it lighter than, uh... And let's use this blue right here, and then... Purple. Let's remove the purple. Make it, uh... Green. Now it looks... really green, so let's experiment. Let's make it... Blue. So green. Oh well. Don't want to spend too much time on it. Yellow to this blue. White to this blue. Red to purple. Pink to purplish blue. Okay. <coughs> Let's play it. Looks weird. <laughs> well, it's gathering energy, so it doesn't mean it's gonna look the same as it is the fireball itself. <laughs> so, well, you can always find your own colors. You don't need to use these. I'm just quickly going through it. So, uh, don't need to waste time. There you go. Looks good, and nothing wrong with it. So, <laughs> so we're done with this. Save as. Again, same location. Media, particles, air skills, move ball, call it warm up. And save. So we are essentially done with making particles. And next up, we are going to put them in a missile. So, in order for new particles to show up, you have to reload them. Fortunately, the reload feature in the game doesn't really, in the editor doesn't really work that well, so you have to close the editor and reopen it, and then everything will update. So, once you've done that, go over to the layout editor, add a missile object, in the object, right click on the object explorer, and add a missile object, rename the object. And then also give it a missile name. So let's just call it blue ball. So now let's add the particles. It should be in your mods mods folder. In the path you saved it. Open the active one. Now note that if you uh did this without closing the editor, nothing will show up. So you're gonna have to close your editor before you do this step right here before you start adding in the particle effects so let's add in the particles the die one the hit one which is impact and we're going to leave the release one by itself we're going to leave the release one alone we're not going to edit it <coughs> we're going to do it differently so next, you want some explanations of these properties here. You can read the guide. I explained some of them, not all of them though. So So I'm just going to go through, change a few properties and and then 
we just copy. So I'm gonna turn on AOE radius and collision radius. Change the AOE radius to around 3.5, and then we're not gonna mess with damage. Change its velocity or how fast is it moving to around. Let me show you how slow it is at two. You see, it's kind of slow. Then fifteen is kind of too fast. So we're gonna do something in between, like six. So there you go. Actually, perfect speed. So for the distance, max distance, we only want to go ten. And then also you set the collision radius. Which I can't see. Oh, there you go. It's just called radius. So. Let's just show you. Hmm. That's actually not it. And then it is. So let's make it a little bigger. One. So the default was point two. So let's make it one. As you see the sphere changes size as you change it. And then the rest of them you could experiment, just try them out. So once you've experimented enough, it's time to save it. So unlike the power code, you just have to save it twice. So let's go to save as. Inside your mod folder, go to media, a new folder called missiles. Oops, <laughs> caps lock was on. Caps lock was on, so <laughs> missiles. And then save it inside here. Just called blue ball. Save. Okay, next place you gotta save is actually inside the main Torch Night Editor Media folder. So, <coughs> by saving in there, you um, allow the editor to be able to access it. So, so save as again. Go to Torch Night. Torch Night Editor, Media Folder, Missiles, and then save it, Blue Ball. And then save. Now I already had one from the <laughs> skill tutorial, so I'm going to overwrite it. Yes. So, like the particles, you also have to reload missiles. And since the reload feature doesn't really work that well, you're going to have to close and op reopen Torchlight Editor again. So, right now we're done with the first step of creating a skill for a class. So the next video is going to be about creating a layout to spawn the missiles that we just created. So that will be done in a few days time. So see you next time.